Bentley and Murata mornings. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bigly Blast. The Diamondbacks won the equivalent of a playoff game last night because every game started by Zach Gallen and Merrill Kelly from last night forward is exactly that, a playoff game. And last night was very reassuring on a lot of levels. But there is something else the Diamondbacks need. They need a solution to their issues at Chase Field, which has been a sweltering hot box for most of the season. And they need our support in whatever that end game looks like. Now, I get it. Nobody wants publicly funded stadiums in 2024, not when most owners are billionaires. But we in Arizona have seen firsthand what happens when another market really wants to steal one of your sports franchises. And after reading a story in the Sports Business Journal, we are definitely in a danger zone. The Diamondbacks are one of two dozen teams whose venue lease expires by the end of 2027, which means we're about to enter a a very interesting time in sports, possibly even a time of franchise free agency. Now, team CEO Derek Hall made it clear he doesn't want a new stadium, even though I vehemently disagree with that. He said he doesn't want to tax his best customers, namely the fans, and maybe the answer is duplicating what the Cardinals did with State Farm Stadium, creating a fund expressly designed for stadium repairs. And as I say that, I can already hear people scream at me, how they'll never support Ken Kendrick, how the Diamondbacks already received their public funding. Look, I know I'm biased, but we need to be sensible here. We need to encourage and support a solution that works for everybody because we have already lost our major league status when Utah swooped in and swiped our NHL team, and we cannot risk losing the Diamondbacks. All right, today's Bickley Blast brought to you by my great friends at Chapman BMW who make luxury attainable. Find them online at ChapmanBMW.com. Sweltering hot box. That's what it is. Big story um, that I referenced in the Sports Business Journal nationally that kind of outlines uh, the entire situation with the Diamondbacks. Yeah. And and this is something where we already know that Kansas City shot down a referendum for the Chiefs. Tempe shot down a referendum for the Coyotes. It's very, very, very hard to rally a community around what people like to call corporate welfare, welfare for billionaires. And I completely understand that sentiment. Because a billionaire, there's a lot of zeros in that, if you didn't know. And, 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 and there is that consideration to be had. But I just want to say after reading this thing and after reading the time crunch that, that now is pretty apparent with this lease expiring at the end of 2027, there's going to have to be a solution for this or our Diamondbacks are going to be fair game again. Even though they vowed that they never want to leave, it's, it's something that is getting to be a real concern. I, I think it's fair to say that. Like twenty twenty, this has been going on since twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. That's when the Diamondbacks and the, the legal troubles between the Diamondbacks and Maricopa County, who owns that facility, you know, that's when it all started. Uh, and we've been we're talking about things even earlier than that. Mm -hmm. That's six years ago. Uh, twenty twenty seven is f three years away. Yeah, and you've got to get a plan in place. Because, you yes. know, and we, we've yeah. talked to Derek Hall about this subject and Derek has said uh, with conviction on several times on this show mm -hmm. that we're going to have something to announce very soon. And there's nothing to announce. And he makes reference to that in the Sports Business Journal article, too, is like every year I say we're going to have a plan by the end of the year and we don't. And you don't. It's frustrating. But I mean, the logistics of it, you said in, in the blast, nobody wants public funding for stadiums anymore. Right. Which is not totally true. The owners want it, but no, nobody well, else you know wants what I mean. it. You know what I mean. But the 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 problem with facility ownership now, in a lot of cases, and I think it's coming to fruition here, is the Diamondbacks, as a tenant, are not empowered to do what needs to be done. There needs to be public funding. There's estimates of four to four hundred to five hundred million dollars. <sighs> of necessary updates. That's under the roof stuff, that, under the hood stuff. That's amazing. Yeah, me. it is. It's a big, big number, and, but, and that's what makes it such a big issue. But can you get there if you don't own your own facility? It's under the roof stuff and literal roof stuff. Yeah, it, yeah. no, it really, really is. And so, listen, and and uh, anybody who's been to a game this year, and I've been to probably 12 of them as fans, 
I, I think out of those 12, the AC was op- optimal, maybe two. Maybe two of them. I went to a game in the Toronto series, and I told you it was the most uncomfortable I've been in that in that facility. Mm-hmm. But I also went to the day game on Labor Day against the Dodgers, full house. It was it was palatable. I mean, okay. again, that family that's sitting in front of me made it awful. Whoops. But <laughs> they had nothing to do with the air conditioning. <laughs> I mean, it, we know it's a problem when you have literal players on the team mentioning yeah. it. So, so all I'm saying in the blast here, I, I, I am not trying to bend over backwards for a billionaire. What I'm saying is, is that if this becomes part of a public conversation, if the Diamondbacks are able to rally some sort of por- uh, support to create some sort of mechanism, let's be sensible about it. Let's not just scream at them. No, you're not. We already paid for a stadium. That was a backdoor tax back then, and well, I'm mad. Especially... We watched and saw what happened just with not understanding, with misinformation, with the, the arena in Tempe yes. for the Coyotes that fa- that fans just rejected without even knowing what was going on, yes. and then we lost the team. Which is the danger of referendums, which is why, which is why this is a very interesting. Listen, in a perfect world, you know, I, I mean, personally, I would, I would love to be taxed if it meant building a brand new smaller bar- ballpark that was a much better experience. But again, I'm biased. I am very, very invested in having a baseball team here. Yes. So I'm not the average person. You're in the minority, though. I'm in I the think minority. When, I, when you say yeah, that. Right. Most people, public funding is a non-starter. Mm-hmm. For most people, and Jared brought, and, and you brought up the, the Coyotes situation, as soon as it goes to a referendum, as soon as you're asked for your vote, the tendency for most people is to say, no, no, no. I'm no. not helping. And, and look, we, I can sit here and say this now. I'm still torn on it. Mm-hmm. I'm bummed that the Coyotes aren't here. Mm-hmm. Am I bummed that Alex Morello didn't no. get what he wanted? No, I'm not bummed about that at all. Exactly. So again, so again, th- of bums. They- <laughs> but but that's you, you know how you know how they always say you learn more from victories than you do losses. That's kind of how I look at the Coyotes. We didn't want that guy as that owner or the, or what that team was going to be like going forward. But the lesson remains that if another market is really, really, really motivated to come and take your franchise, they can make things real difficult. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all I have to say about it. No, the Vegas possibility is probably out the door, although there's still some mystery there. But there's so, other well, municipalities even... that want baseball in a bad, bad way. Out the door in theory, but we don't know what's happening with the A's still there. Well, they're going to play in Sacramento. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I will say this. When the A's leave Oakland, the Diamondbacks will then have the biggest stadium in baseball. It's way too big, clearly. Was that right? No, yeah. it's not wow. bigger than Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium holds like 50,000, doesn't it? 56. I'd have to look it up. 56,000. Yeah, I thought I read that in this piece. Okay, well, that I get, then I stand corrected. Don't well, believe everything you read, Big. <laughs> getting fact, getting fact checked by Jared. This is something wow. interesting. Thank, wow! Thank, All thank right. God for Sarah to immediately back me up there because that was starting to feel like that was the Jared's <laughs> like this is true. a fact. I and think, then, I, where did I hear that? Okay. Oh, okay, I read it wrong. With more than forty-eight thousand seats, Chase Field is soon to be the second largest in Major League Baseball once the Aisley. Jared, I am so impressed. Both of you. Props to both of you. Facts, figures. It's what we do. I it's only, I, do. I know that only because <laughs> I know every year for a lot of years, Dodger Stadium, the Dodgers always led the league in attendance, which you never know because their stadium only ever looks half full because the, the yeah. fans go and leave so mm-hmm. early and late. But I'm, I'm confused at what just happened. Should we just call it a day? <laughs> Is that? Do we end the show yeah, now? I think so. do, we, do you guys want <laughs> breakfast <laughs> burritos? <laughs> <laughs> I do owe him one. Yeah, right. <laughs> lunch. You didn't say breakfast burrito. You said lunch. Okay, regular you burrito. Didn't, <laughs> you didn't say burrito. You said lunch. State to 44? Me, to me, that indicates yeah. it's it's the winner's pick, correct? Sure. Correct. The, Capital Grill. The yeah. State 44 have a the value The only menu. parameter I have on it is I don't want to eat with you. Let me check. <laughs> let me check Groupon. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.